Welcome, everybody. For my regular podcast listeners, you know that I am very much into eating healthy and doing everything I can to maintain brain health. So last night, Hubby and I were like, man, we're really in the mood for pasta. And I said, don't worry about it. I'm making fresh pasta tomorrow while you're doing the open house. So I thought I would share with you my recipe because not only is this good for your brain, for those of us who are taking care of somebody with Alzheimer's or somebody with little kids that doesn't like to eat vegetables. This has got a ton of veggies in it and you'd never know, it tastes fantastic. So the first step is to brown the onions. Now it calls for, you know, chopping up a whole onion and ugh, I hate that. And it drives me bananas that my um, local grocery store doesn't carry the chopped onions frozen. So I got these petite whole onions. So I figured this is gonna all slow cook. And if I have to, I can use the immersion blender at the end to get it all smooth. So we're gonna let those brown a little bit with my spatula over here. Just a little bit of olive oil in here. And for the recipe, hello camera, why'd you move over there? Back over here. Just be following, there we go. Working with new equipment here. Um, the first thing I did was brown the meat. And the recipe is down below. So. We're gonna brown the onions a little bit over here. Got my recipe all wet, so I'll probably have to reprint it. And then you get into that age where you gotta have the readers. Yeah, you wanna cook the onions until they're translucent. And then we're gonna throw in the bell pepper, which thankfully my local grocery store does have those frozen. Because we're all super busy, we need to, uh, do what we can to save time, but still eat healthy and and, and good, because you're gonna love this. It doesn't matter that this spaghetti sauce is healthy. It tastes amazing. So those are pretty translucent. Dump in the frozen peppers. Oh, and the zucchini. It called for a shredded zucchini, and I thought, you know what, I got a lot of things I want to do today. So I just bought the veggie spirals because I could. It's a little more expensive. But if you didn't know, when they flash freeze these veggies, they're actually freezing in a lot of the nutrients that you might lose from fresh ones, especially it's now November. And the... Um, you know, zucchini's not in season at this point. I'm in California, so if it's not in season here, it's definitely not in season anywhere. So, I also got shredded carrots, because I am just not into shredding. I do have a food processor, but you know what? It's just more things to cook clean and, you know. 10 ounces, two cups, so I'm gonna put the whole thing in there. Almost didn't. So two cups of carrots, stir that all up. And you're thinking, there's no way in heck my family would eat this. Well, when my daughter lived at home, she's like a purist, you know, she liked the jar stuff. It was easy, tasted good, it's what she grew up on. So that's what we, uh, that's what we ate a lot of. But for the people who have listened regularly on the podcast, you'll know that I lost a hundred pounds. And most of that was because on my dad's side of the family, there's lots of diabetes. And I had a client who said, oh my gosh, you're overweight. You've got a family history of diabetes, you're screwed. And my personality is like, screwed, I'll show you. And it did take a lot of effort to find what worked. And it took a while, it took a couple of years, which is good. I kept off most of it. I did hit 50, put on about 20, 25 pounds. We're going to Hawaii in 28 weeks. So three weeks ago, I put a countdown calendar on my phone so that I could look at it and go, if I'm not losing a pound a week, which is super safe and simple, I'm not gonna be where I wanna be when we get to Hawaii. And I'm trying to lose 20 to 25, and I gave myself 31 weeks. So, you know, that's what you do when you, uh, <laughs> you start 
really paying attention to what you're eating right before the holidays, but you know, gotta start sometime. So this is all simmering. Now my slow cooker has a browning feature and that's what we're turned on to at the moment. Like I said, cause I did the meat. So there's a little bit of the fat from the meat in there. Do, 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 do. We're gonna stir in the bed, bell peppers, the zucchini, the carrots and cook until just tender. So we got a little bit of ways to go. And then we're gonna stir in the spices. And then we're gonna put in the tomatoes. Now it calls for just regular tomatoes, but I get the ones in the can that are already got the Italian seasoning because like, why wouldn't you? So we're gonna give this a little bit more time. I think I will put the lid on it. That'll speed it up. Actually, the lid is not too hot anymore. So this is my first bonus YouTube video on my channel. Most of what I have there is uh, podcast episodes. Some of them don't even have video because it was before I realized that um, audio mediums needed to be on the video platform, but at whatever. I wanted to share with you some of the things that I do to keep my brain healthy, my body healthy, and I thought, what better way to start with this recipe that like everybody's gonna love, because who doesn't love spaghetti? And like I said, if you've got a fussy kid, you can make this work, maybe slightly less veggies definitely use the uh, immersion blender when you're done they'll probably never even know it's got italian sausage and ground meat it calls for ground beef i used ground chicken because um the way i lost 100 pounds was to go very very low fat which kind of goes against the grain of what most people tell you but it's what worked for me so Give that about one more minute. Try to keep this video not too long because I'm gonna run out of things to say. And I don't know, this is my first cooking video ever. So <laughs> I hope it's, hope it's worthy. I hope I don't have to pretend to make this again and make it look good. So let's see here, we tender, getting there. I think while that's getting more tender, I will get the spices ready. Now I did, when I cooked the meat, I put in fresh rosemary and fresh basil from my yard. It was left over from a previous recipe. It was just sitting around, so why not use it? Sorry, the camera is supposed to be following me when I, I don't know. Technology is kind of a pain in the rump sometimes. So I also like pre-chopped up basil because it's very time consuming. And I've already added the salt and pepper, so I probably don't need more of that. I did forget to put in the spinach, which is going to add more water, which is going to take help. So seriously, this is like all veggies. And you can see I haven't spent hardly any time because I bought basically pre-chopped, pre-shredded everything. Well, that's getting soft. Let me give you guys a look. Doesn't that look delicious? And that's just the veggies. We haven't added the tomatoes yet. That's gonna be important. So what you can't see off camera over there is the bagstress. For those of you who follow me on social media, you'll know that I have three golden retrievers. The girl dog who is in the middle, huge bear, like professional status, beggar and she always wins too she loves everything she loves carrots she loves apples like the dog doesn't realize that she's supposed to just eat like meat and stuff so i'm going to add in the tomatoes now and the spices it might not be quite soft enough yet but i don't want to bore you too much with this so we're going to add in all these delicious tomatoes now I was at the farmer's market yesterday. Oops, got one, one that was different. <laughs> I got two crushed, or one crushed and two diced, but that's okay. Cause it's all gonna cook down beautifully anyway. So anyway, I was at the farmer's market yesterday and I was looking at all the fresh tomatoes and I did not remember how many tomatoes I would need because it's listed in 
terms of how many cans. So I didn't know how many jars or tomatoes I'd need. So I just, uh, just decided I'd stick to the original recipe. So let me put in, this is Italian seasoning because I'm lazy. I have things to do. I don't think I'm gonna put in any more salt or pepper. I'm using a lot of the garlic juice, because why not? And I forgot a spoon, so pardon my fingers. A lot of garlic. Anyway, so when this is done, I will come back to you and show you how fantastic it is. So stay tuned. So everything is added, all the tomatoes, the meat, everything. I am letting it simmer a bit. You can see there's a lot of liquid in there, but you can see already that the veggies are starting to disappear and it's going to look incredibly rich, delicious spaghetti sauce. And for those people who don't like veggies, if you've got a loved one who has a difficult time eating, for those of us caring for somebody with Alzheimer's, or you just need to sneak it into the kids, this is a great way to get in veggies because we need taste of vision here. So, again, I'll come back to you as soon as this is all ready, which is about three and a half hours from now. So, have a good one. And here's our final product. Little uh, immersion blender action. I don't think you'll ever know. There's tons of veggies in there.